Myostatin inhibitors, aka bimigramab, trivogramab, and garotismab. The cutting edge monoclonal antibodies promising gains straight out of sci-fi. No needle or acne required. What if there were drugs that didn't just slow muscle loss, they actively flipped your body's growth switch back on, allowing you to burn fat while preserving serious muscle mass? Meet the myostatin inhibitors. Myostatin is your body's built-in muscle break, telling your muscles, slow down buddy, enough's enough. But monoclonal antibodies, think tiny targeted protein missiles engineered in a lab, can now selectively block that muscle limiting signal. First up, bimigramab. Bimigramab doesn't target myostatin directly. Instead, it blocks the ACT-R2 A slash B receptors that myostatin and other muscle inhibiting proteins bind to. Clinical trials are impressive, with patients seeing a 20.5% reduction in total body fat, about 16.5 pounds, and simultaneously gaining 3.6% in lean mass, 3.7 pounds. This was in people that weren't even exercising. Next is trivogramab. Trivogramab neutralizes myostatin itself. Early clinical data in combination with semaglutide showed it preserved about 50% of lean mass typically lost during significant weight loss. Patients only lost about four pounds of muscle compared to eight pounds lost on semaglutide alone. Finally, garotismab. Garotismab targets activin A, another signaling protein in the muscle inhibiting family. Combined with trivogramab and semaglutide, it performed even better, reducing muscle loss to just two pounds while dramatically boosting fat loss. From 15 pounds of fat loss on semaglutide alone, up to a whopping 25 pounds of pure fat shredding in just 26 weeks, no Stairmaster required. The catch? These drugs aren't magic wands, yet anyways. Long-term safety data is still pending. We're still in the middle of phase two clinical trials. Side effects, generally mild so far, but unknown long-term risks may exist. One of the known side effects are bloody noses. So shout out if you're excited about Kenny KO's future Natty or Not videos interviewing dudes with freaking tampons up their noses. Regulatory approvals will take years. We probably won't see these widely available until at least 2028. Bottom line. Myostatin inhibitors aren't steroids. They're something potentially much better. Huge promise for fat loss, incredible muscle preservation, and fewer known side effects than traditional gear, which begs the question, will there even be a role for anabolic steroids in the future? Want a deeper dive into the full science trials and potential of these new compounds? Check out our long form YouTube analysis. Link is in the bio. That's myostatin inhibitors. Next generation gains, real world wait times. Proceed accordingly.